warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wassa wassa to year 3 student ok for english lesson for today we will learn about singular and plural nouns for animal before that what is singular and what is plural ok singular means one plural is many for example more than one two three four or hundred so remember singular is one and plural is many okay for animal there are six rules for you to know how to change singular nouns to plural nouns okay rule number one to make a singular word plural in most cases S is added to the end of the word Maksudnya kat sini peraturan pertama Bagi kebanyakan perkataan singular Kita tambah S je kat belakang perkataan tu Contohnya apa? Lion Lion ni maksudnya ada satu singa Tapi kalau ada banyak singa More than, more than one lion Then we change it to Lions Kita tambah apa kat belakang sekali Kita tambah S Jadi Lions So kita tahu Lions Bermaksud plural Faham And then second one Monkey So what if there are more than one We call it monkeys Next Elephant More than one elephant Elephants We add S to the end Panda Pandas So that is rule number one Okay, for rule number two If the singular form of the word ends with S, SS, X, ZZ, CH or SH Then add ES to the end of the word Maksudnya, kalau perkataan tu berakhir dengan ah, ni semua yang cikgu besarkan ni Kita akan tambah ES dekat belakang dia Ingat eh This is rule number 2 Contohnya apa? Fox Ada apa belakang sekali? Ada X Kita tengok balik X ada kat sini kan? Ah, ni ada dekat rule number 2 kan? Kita akan tambah apa dekat belakang sekali? Kita tambah ES Okey, jadi Fox Will become foxes Okay For rule number 3 For words, nouns Ending in F or FE We have to change F to V And add ES Okay Kalau perkataan yang berakhir dengan huruf F Ataupun FE Kita tukar F tadi kepada V Okay Tukar F kepada V Kemudian kita tambah ES Contohnya Wolf Ada F kan? Jadi kita buang F ni Ok, bila kita buang F Kita letak apa? Kita letak V Lepas tu kita tambah ES Jadi Wolves Ok Next Rule number 4 A few words Nouns are very strange and have the same singular and plural forms. Okey, bagi peraturan nombor empat, singular and plural dia sama je. Tak ada tukar apa-apa, tak ada beza. Contoh apa? Fish. If there is one fish, then we call fish. But what if there are two fish? We still call it fish. Understand? The same thing to ship. If there is one sheep, we call sheep. But if there are group of sheep, we still call it sheep. Sama, tak ada beza. So, this is rule number four. Uh, sorry, rule number five. For rule number six, sometimes it's very hard to know what the rules are. Okay, jeng, jeng, jeng. Nombor enam ni. Kita tak tahu dia pakai rules yang mana Jadi macam mana kita nak tahu Kita perlu hafal ha, Yang ni kita kena hafal Contohnya apa 
mouse tikus kan okey jika ada satu tikus we call it mouse if the, there are more than one we call it mice remember mouse mice goose geese okey goose ni uh, angsa so if there are more than one we call it geese kalau angsa tu lebih dari satu kita panggil geese ingat eh mouse mice goose geese okey tu number one number two if the nouns ending with y or o okey we look at uh, y first puppy so kita buang y tu kita tambah I E S Puppy become puppies Kita buang Y Kita tambah I E S So it become puppies Ok kalau berakhir dengan O pula Kita akan tambah E S Contoh Flamingo become Flamingos Ok faham So these are the six rules to change singular nouns to plural nouns so now you try it yourself change this 15 nouns to plural for example mosquito mosquito belakang sekali huruf o so kita tengok rule number 6 kan kalau o flamingo kita tambah ES Jadi kita tahulah dekat mosquito O belakang sekali kita tambah ES Jadi mosquitoes Ok jadi awak buat Sampai 15 You uh, complete This exercise And send to me Before 5pm today Awak siapkan 15 soalan ni dan hantar pada cikgu Pada hari ni sebelum jam 5 petang itu sahaja. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.